PolitiFact, you are fired. You are a mess. You are fired. You are undermining the definition of the word fact in the English language by pretending to it in your name. The English language wants its word back. You are an embarrassment. You sully the reputation of anyone who cites you as an authority on fact-ishness, let alone fact. You are fired. That was me expressing feelings about these self-anointed fact-checkers uh, who call themselves PolitiFact. PolitiFact describes itself as a straight down the middle, nothing but the facts journalism outfit, but they do a patently terrible job at the thing they say they do. Now, lots of people are bad at their job, and who cares? Uh, the reason it matters that PolitiFact is so bad is it, at its job is because fact-checking is such an important job in our country and in our politics that a group so recklessly and relentlessly bad at that job occupies the brand that is fact-checking in American politics is something that should bother all of us. Here's a new example of what I mean. For the first time in 13 years, our dependence on foreign oil is below 50%. That was an ad run by President Obama's re-election campaign. Uh, the president repeated that statement during the State of the Union. Our dependence on foreign oil is below 50% for the first time in 13 years. PolitiFact decided to check that. They went to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. They found this report. U.S. oil import dependence declining no matter how you measure it. Quoting from the report, whichever way it's defined, U.S. dependence on imported oil has dramatically declined since peaking in 2005. U.S. dependence on imported oil fell below the 50 percent mark last year for the first time since 1997. Okay, there it is right there. Fact. Acknowledged by PolitiFact. For the first time in 13 years, our dependence on foreign oil is below 50 percent. That's what the president said. PolitiFact checked it out, found it to be factually accurate, otherwise known as true. So president says thing A, PolitiFact finds thing A to be true. PolitiFact rates president's statement half true. Seriously, this is PolitiFact. This is why PolitiFact is fired. Apparently they think they have inferred a causality claim by virtue of the fact that the president said this true thing and that somehow makes this true thing not true anymore or something. Under the same logic, if the president went outside and gave a speech in the rain and said, thanks for coming, I appreciate your being here because it's raining, PolitiFact would fact check whether or not it was raining and find it half true, even though it was in fact raining, because somehow saying it was raining implied to PolitiFact that the president was claiming to be El Nino. PolitiFact, you sometimes rate the president's statements true. You sometimes rate them false. You sometimes rate me true. You sometimes rate me false. You sometimes rate Rush Limbaugh true. You sometimes rate him false. Nobody cares anymore. It is not personal. It's not ideological. It's about you. It is about your competence and your indecent appropriation of the word fact. If Americans are being trained now to think politifact when we think about fact checking, then the whole idea of checking facts is being dangerously undermined by how bad you are at your job. I hereby implore all of us who have interest in the word fact continuing to mean something, all of us left, right and center, I implore all of us to stop playing the bullpucky lottery. If politifact rates you true, it's no more a badge of honor than if they rate you pants on fire. If you want to assert the truth or falseness of something else that somebody else did in politics, a citation from PolitiFact cannot help you with that. If PolitiFact could be stripped of the word fact, they should be. In the meantime, let their derision be a source of pride. Let their support be a source of anxiety. No more. The gig is up.